Okay, so Stasis Nerfs. It has been a week of... A week and a half? No, it's not even a full week, is it? Last Thursday. Yeah, so just under a week. Just oh, under okay. a week. Yeah, so just under a week. Uh, people played some trials on the weekend. Um, I dabbled. I, I did stream it. I just logged in for a, a tiny little touch. Um, I was pretty impressed with a lot of it. The Hunter Melee nerf, incredible. Holy cow. Yeah. I used to just get pegged by that thing constantly. Around corners. Around corners. Tracking you. It was so frustrating yeah. because as long as they threw it near you, you're getting tagged. So that got nerfed. That was amazing. The behemoth nerf. Brother, that thing would fly towards me 24-7 and I just rage because it's like, all right, I'm just dead. You can't shoot it. Yeah. You can sprint like, I, away. I guess I'll die. Like as like a dawn blade, top tree, and it'll still catch you. And, and you can lay into them. But they reduced... Um, the damage reduction, so you actually, and if you're doing decent, you can actually kill them before they kill you. Um, you can, uh, you can now like it's much more common that you can one shot headshot them with an a, an adaptive sniper. So like with right. the bl- beloved archetype or the adorn uh, adored archetype. So mm-hmm. that's great. Whereas before, if they had high resilience, they're tanking that shot. Yeah, and if they tank that shot, then you're, you're dead. Freeze durations. Um, Overall, like it did feel quite a bit better. It is still frustrating, like if you get tagged with it. But um, I just also noticed more people on light subclasses when I played, like a lot cool. more. It, yeah. it used to be like Absolutely. one, one to two people in a twelve-man lobby, and now uh, you know some of my games it was the majority, which I have not yeah. seen. I have in, I've in never most seen most of my games. It's yeah. mostly light subclasses now. You know, Dawn Blade and Special Blades. I mean, these things are, are they're back on top. And I've seen a lot of people say, like, Stasis and Nurse were, were dumb. Now we're just back to Dawn Blade and Spectrum. It's like, bro, but those, but you're not, you're not being objective here. Yes, there is always going to be something on top, but is it as bad as Stasis was? Yeah. Heck exactly. No. You don't go into a lobby and see nine Dawn Blades. You don't. It's just, it just doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not as oppressive as Stasis, and it wasn't as free. I mean, Top Tree Dawn Blade, I mean, they've already said it's probably going to have to be brought down a little bit. I mean, they already said that, but it has a high skill ceiling. Stasis was different. Stasis was, I have zero talent, I have zero skill, and I can kill you. Yeah. And I, I don't say that to be, to diminish people or to be insulting. No. It's just no, a I fact. Do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and it's just a fact. The, it's, these yeah, abilities right. track, they track for you. You miss your cold snap. It's still going to yeet over to the nearest guy and freeze him. Because when you hit someone with a cold snap, they can't defend themselves. You took there's no skill there, there's no talent there, there's no effort there. You pushed a button, you want to fight. And I don't say that to be diminishing, but they took that away. Praise God, all freaking mighty. And it's so much better. Now Destiny still has issues. It still has a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. But this was a big ticket item to check out the list. I'm so glad we did it. What's up? Uh just to, to play on that. That's actually one of the things I forgot about is the ability to use movement abilities when slowed. Uh huh. Hunters can dodge roll. I- incredible, incredible. That changes everything. Not as just as like, would say. Not just movement abilities, but you can activate your class abilities. So even if you don't have a movement ability, even if you're a titan, before when you got slowed, you're 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 dead. Yeah, you're exactly. Just dead. Now you can put up your your barricade. It's like okay. I might be slowed, but you can't kill me now. Or you can maybe back away from that. You can have yeah. some counterplay. I've got Saiten's Rampart, and so you, like, slow him and almost bait him in. Like, you know, there's different things you can do. The accuracy changes uh, before you get slowed, and it's, like, trying to, like, you know, yeah. you can't even aim your gun. But, yeah. you know, I guess I my played- only gripe is, like, awesome. There was a massive problem, and you made the problem less. You didn't, yeah. you, you like, didn't I, make the game better. You just made it less right. bad. Well, can I, so. I, I, I played a lot of Iron Banner last night, too. And, and yeah, it's it's so noticeable. A lot less stasis, a lot more light. Stasis is still hot and heavy, like especially Revenant Hunters. They've just migrated to Shatter Dive, which is very good still. Right. Yeah. You put on especially like the Frosties with that grenade. You're getting that you're getting that back so fast and and the aspect of winter still makes that grenade better you shatter dive it's still great but it's not like if if one or two things are great that's fine the problem was that everything was 
Great. That's right. Every mm-hmm. single ability, the nades were S plus tier, the melees were S plus tier, the super was S plus tier, the movement was S plus tier. It's like, brother. And no at downsides. Some point, yeah. At some point, yeah. we got to calm it down. The one, and now I'm going to ask you, I think that this nerf was a great idea. And I think that an emergency button had to be pressed. But I am kind of annoyed. And I made a video on this saying like, dude, they, these changes hurt the PVP, the PVE stasis quite a bit. Like, especially the Behemoth Titan, because they changed how the slide works, right? You have to run and then slide. So one of the best parts about using it in PVE, one of the only reasons to legitimately use it was because it had great anti-add capabilities. You'd throw a glacier grenade and slide right into it and shatter it. And then if you had some like shattering ice synergies, you could get your melee back right away. Like actually a very powerful build. But now you can't. You have to like throw the grenade and like run around and like set it up. So it fe- it just feels worse to play. And like, I understand they had to do this to save the freaking game, but it is kind of annoying. It's like, man, like it, it was not overpowered in the slightest for PVE. And yet it still took a hit. And it just like brings up that age old argument of like, are they going to have to separate these sandboxes? It just keeps causing problems. It, it, they'll never, fix it. they'll never get it right because I mean, the thing is, is like, they have to, like, they probably have to have a lot of these balance changes tied directly. I mean, there's so many trivial things in this game where it, where it's like, if you change one thing, it'll break something else. I, I don't even know how they would do it where it's like, this activity, the slide is instant. This activity, it isn't in it. Like, I don't even know yeah, how they would code it differently. Like, I can tell you right now, I don't think it, you will ever see them do do different sandbox tunings uh, on that level between PV and PvP. I don't think it will ever happen. They've they've stated before in open forums, hey, we are very committed to the idea that your guardian is your guardian is your guardian. And the way you play here is the same way you play there and the same way you play over here. Gambit, PvP, PvE. It's all the same. And I don't I don't yeah. think they're gonna change that. I agree. I agree. But like do you guys see where I'm coming from or and, and some people in the chat are like, well why would you even play Behemoth Titan? Like, you're going to play Bubble anyways. Like, yeah, that's my point. Like, the f- small amount of people who just played it because they enjoyed it, they liked Shattering in PvE. It was, again, it was not even close to overpowered. They logged on one day, and their favorite build is worse because a bunch of PvP players couldn't calm the hell down. Like, is this kind of Wait, sad? Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> But actually, it's like you guys had to spaz out for a top of the leaderboards where winning doesn't matter in most game modes. <laughs> like, do we really have? No, I'm obviously... Oh, no, I thought me- you meant the other way. Like, no, no, no. we were all complaining about Stasis. No, I'm obviously there. memeing on you guys, but it is kind of a sad thing. It's like, you log on. There's so many people that don't play PvP at all. And it's like, you log on, and your your stuff is worse, and and all of them are worse. Like the tracking for uh, Shade Binder, right? Like that matters quite a bit because if you're playing like a higher level content and you're like far away, and the shade, I've seen people use Shade Binder in Grandmasters because of the wa- Bleak Watcher turret that can like spawn trap and freeze champions. Yeah, yeah it's actually pretty solid. Actually, really good. But like now, if you try, if obviously you're staying further away, if you try to hit someone, if you try to lock on. It, there's no tracking anymore. The tracking right. breaks after a certain amount of time. So, so like that's uh, super. It got way worse. So like, dude, uh, it's just like a whole. I'm. I want to make it clear that I'm not saying that they like did something wrong by doing this nerf. I think this nerf was needed, but it just like it opens this can of worms again. Where it's like I feel like every every big nerf like this should have some offsets for the part of the game that wasn't involved they've done it before in stasis but it seems like this was like an emergency thing and i hope they go back to doing like offsets if they nerf something for one part of the game it shouldn't suffer in the other part as well i wonder i'm not overly concerned i think they i think that you'll see some some work to bring stasis back up at least on the pve side of things but i don't i don't mean to cut you off mike oh it's okay i I've seen a lot of like overall positivity, like even like ZK and and Frostbolt, like you know we we've been talking and they've been really frustrated because they still do a lot of like trials on the weekend and stuff. And like for the first time, I saw some positivity out of them, 
you know and yeah, they're yeah. like they're like damn like i can actually kind of deal with pvp but you know it's it's a tough thing i feel like it's it, there's a lot of people in destiny right now where it's like i can deal with this game you know they're not yeah. like overly hyped about anything really and like maybe they are <laughs> yeah. for a bit but it isn't it, it feels like it's in a bit of a lull it needs a big kick uh, yeah. to get everyone really invested again. Yeah, it, it's, I don't know. And and then you have, I see some people in the chat like, no, Chain Binder didn't change. I, I had people say that on Twitter. It's like, it didn't even change. Someone actually, swear, swear to God, said it like this. He's like, Shade Binder is basically the same. I mean, yeah, you lost the Whisper of Hedrons, which was the best fragment. <laughs> and then you also like lost a couple. Other than that, it's fine. So it's like, so they took away the best what you're saying is the best PvE like aspect or, or fragment and your class is undoubtedly and undeniably worse than it was, even though it was not overpowered. And you're like, it's fine, though. It's like, dude, you understand there's a problem. And again, for you, if you're, uh, you know, a hardcore player, you can understand. Oh, OK, they made this. for. But if you're like a more casual player, you're not even necessarily going to read these patch notes like you got to understand. The people watching this are the minority people who watch youtube videos are the minority the people who read patch notes are a minority of that minority most people just log on and play and have no clue about these changes they literally logged on they went into a strike with the behemoth they tried to slide and they probably thought What's their happening control, they probably <laughs> thought their controller was broken like it's it's a it is like an issue that bungie and i feel like they should have in-game patch notes some games do this Bungie needs to start doing it and saying like, hey, like warning the behemoths, this is the changes, right? If you log on to Titan, it comes up and says, here are the changes we made, right? right. So people can understand that.